everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Jess, and this is my bathroom. If you're wondering why I'm here, it's because today's projects are all gonna be decorations for this bathroom. Now, if you've been with me for a while here on YouTube, you probably remember last year I did two videos, and I did bathroom decor on a budget, and some of that decor I am still using, but it's in my other bathroom, which is downstairs. So right now I am in my upstairs bathroom, which is a full bath, but it's very small. And I'm kind of ashamed to say <laughs> there are no decorations in here, <laughs> like none. And that is because my husband and I are the only ones that are ever in here. But I thought it was time I get some life back in this bathroom and I'm going to make some decorations. But there's a catch. I have five areas in this bathroom that could use some decorating. So I'm going to create five different projects, but I'm going to do it in less than 45 minutes <laughs> and less than $45. So I'm excited. I'm a little nervous. I hope you're excited too. I'm going to show you the areas in the bathroom that I have ideas for, and then we'll get right into the projects. And then I'll show you all the projects after everything's done at the end. So when you're done watching this video, if you like this style, because this is pretty different for me, let me know in the comments if you kind of like this challenge video that I'm doing for myself. And also let me know if you have any other challenge ideas. If you want me to do, you know, another number of decorations in a certain amount of dollars or only using certain items or any kind of ideas you have for some kind of challenge video, bring it on. I'm ready for it. All right. I hope you're ready too. Let's get started. Okay, so when you first walk into my bathroom, like I said, it's very tiny. There's one wall, there's the door. On the other side of the door is the shower, and I'm standing at the doorway, and that's the wall right there. So <laughs> you can see how small this bathroom is. But when you first walk in, I have this blank wall right here, and I wanna create some decor pieces to hang on that wall. And then if we come into the bathroom, hi, I have a space above my vanity that I think could use a little decor. There's a space above this toilet cabinet, and I do have a basket up there. If you wanna consider it decor, you can. I usually just keep extra rolls of toilet paper in there, but I think there needs to be something else next to it. And then down from that cupboard is the old throne, and I feel like there needs to be something on the back of the toilet. And then lastly, I have my sink area, and you can see I have just a regular old Bath and Body Works soap dispenser there, so I thought it would be a good idea to do a little upgrade and have a matching soap dispenser and toothbrush holder. So those are the five areas. We've got the sink, the top of the cabinet, the other cabinet, the toilet, and the wall next to the toilet. All right, here we go. I wanted to create a planter box for on top of my vanity mirror and originally I wanted to use two of these wooden crates from the Dollar Tree but I didn't have any on hand and my store didn't have any either. So I improvised by using four of these shelf sitter decorations that they have, a roll of the birch ribbon, some burlap ribbon, and some wooden beads to use as feet. This is a time challenge. I'm going to be using the stopwatch on my phone and I'll show you my phone every time I start and stop the stopwatch. The the only time I'm going to stop is when I'm done with the project and I need to switch out what I'm using for the next one. I started by hot gluing all four of the boxes together. I stacked two of them up on each other with some hot glue and then I stacked the other two up and then I glued all four together. Now if you're able to find those wooden crates this would save you um, some time and money because you only need to glue two of them together just side by side. But this worked out okay as well. And while I'm gluing all of this together, I do want to apologize because I'm having a really hard day with my allergies. <laughs> so I'm sure I sound a little nasally and stuffy. So please bear with me through this video. This is the only time I had to do this voiceover. So I had to get it done today. I also used a pair of pliers to pop out those wooden pieces that they had inside the boxes to use as hangers. They popped out pretty easily. Actually, I didn't have to pull too hard on them and it didn't damage the box at all. 
Next, I took a regular glue stick and I started covering around the outside of the box with that birch ribbon. The reason I'm using a glue stick here instead of hot glue is because the paper ribbon, it's, it, it feels like a paper material instead of a regular material that you would normally find on ribbons. And I was afraid that the hot glue would kind of show lumps and bumps through this birch ribbon. So that's why I decided to use a glue stick instead. Then I flipped the box over and using hot glue this time, I folded in all of the edges, kind of the way that you would wrap a gift. And I should have thought ahead here that this planter is gonna sit up high on top of that mirror. And I should have covered the bottom with that ribbon as well. I just didn't think of it at the time. So if you decide to recreate something like this, you'll have to keep in mind where you're going to put it if you need to cover the bottom or not. And then to finish off the structure of the box, I'm just using four wooden square beads that I had in my stash to add as feet. I started in the back where I had started with the birch ribbon and I am using hot glue this time for the burlap ribbon because the boxes don't quite line up and there is a little ridge in between the two boxes. It's kind of hard to see on camera but you could see it in person. So I knew the burlap ribbon would help co cover that up and because it is a thicker material I knew I could use the hot glue this time. I already had a bunch of old um, floral phone pieces that were cut pretty small from some old projects. So I gathered all of those up and I just cut down where I needed to to fill up both sides of this planter. Originally, if I was going to use the wooden crates, my plan was to fill both of the crates just with some decorative rocks and then add in maybe three or four succulents. But because now I had to glue these four boxes together and there's a a seam of, from the boxes running through the center, I knew the succulents probably wouldn't look right in this. So I chose to go with the floral foam and then I already had a couple things of greenery on hand. I think this one here that I'm cutting apart is from Joanne Fabrics. And then I tucked in a few other pieces just to make it look more full. I came in just over 12 minutes for this planter, which isn't too bad. Some of the other projects I'm doing require some paint, so I needed to get that started so that it would have time to dry. I'm using a mason jar and one of the trays that you can find at the Dollar Tree, and I gave them each one coat of paint, and I did start the timer again, and I didn't stop it until I finished with the first coat of paint, and I set it aside to dry. Like I mentioned earlier, I needed some wall art for next to the toilet and the toilet cabinet. And this project's gonna be really easy. There's no gluing and no painting. I took three frames from the Dollar Tree. These say they're five by seven frames, but then there's a mat around it. So it's actually a little bigger than a five by seven frame, but I was really excited because the faux wood on the frame actually matches the cabinet in my bathroom really well. And I'm also gonna use some cork sheets and a sticker sheet from the Dollar Tree also. I started by removing everything in each of the frames. I took the backing out, the fake art piece that was in there, the little matte piece, all of that could come out. I just needed to keep the backer. And then I used the piece that was already in it to trace onto the cork sheet so that I knew I had the right size to fit inside. After all the cork sheets were fit to size, I then picked out three of the stickers that I liked best off of this piece of wall decor pack that they had at the Dollar Tree and I just had to stick them to the cork and then reassemble the frames. And because that space is kind of narrow, I actually stacked all three frames on top of each other so they hung vertical and it filled in that space really nicely. And I do want to mention, I'm going to show you all the products finished at the end of the video and I'm also going to do a cost breakdown too and I'll tell you where I think I could have maybe saved a little bit of money, um, but I think $45 to decorate a bathroom is pretty okay too. Now I needed to add a second coat of paint to the tray and the mason jar and you can see here I only painted the outside of the tray. I didn't need to fill in the center because I was going to cover up that later anyway. And we're sitting at right around 25 minutes so not too bad so far. 
Moving on to the soap dispenser and the toothbrush holder. I picked these up at the Dollar Tree and I actually think they look really nice just on their own. But of course I wanted to personalize them. I did cut the letter M out on my Cricut uh, because that's what my last name starts with. But I would recommend you pick up some of the poster stickers from the Dollar Tree instead. I just didn't have any and of course my store didn't either. So I didn't include the cut time on my Cricut in my crafting project because had I had the poster stickers, I would have just been able to peel them off. So to dress these up just a little more and to make them look just a little more farmhouse because, you know, that's kind of my style. I decided to wrap some jute twine around the top and bottom of each of them just a couple times. I think I only wrapped it around three times. And I did use hot glue here. I felt like the twine had enough texture on it that the hot glue should stay on this ceramic type material pretty well. And then the last step after I got the twine glued on to the top and bottom of each container was I took my letter M and I just centered it in between the jute strings and that's how easy this project came together. Now that the second coat of paint had dried on my tray, I could get started on this project which is going to be um, on the back of the toilet and it's going to hold q-tips and cotton balls. So I needed another one of those cork sheets. I'm using a pack of these rub-on transfers and I did pick up two jars at the Dollar Tree and we're sitting at about 30 minutes so I got about 15 minutes to get both projects done but I think I can do it. I started by measuring the inside of my tray to see how long and wide I needed to cut my cork sheet. And I just measured that out and cut it with scissors. And because these cork sheets do have an adhesive backing on them, it makes it really easy. I find it sticky enough that I didn't add any extra hot glue. I just used the adhesive that was already on the cork sheet. To decorate up the jars just a little, I'm using the rub-on transfers and I placed a couple of them around the side of the jar. You could kind of get creative here if you wanted to add ribbons or bows or even just wrap some more twine around it or use other types of stickers. I just like the greenery on these rub-on transfers and I thought it fit in well with the other greenery that I was adding into my bathroom also. This was another quick and easy one and now I have just under 10 minutes to get finished with the last project. For the space above my toilet cabinet, I wanted to create a simple flower arrangement to fill in that area. And I love the look of mason jars, so I knew that's the direction I wanted to go. I already had the two coats of paint on this mason jar, and I'm also going to use some burlap ribbon, some twine, and a couple bunches of flowers. I'll set my timer here once again. This is the last project. We'll see if I can come in under 45 minutes. To distress my mason jar a little, I took a sanding block and I'm just sanding all over the mason jar, particularly on the raised parts, especially the logo to really show that off. And then I did make sure that I distressed the neck of the jar a little also. Instead of creating a traditional bow for the front of this mason jar, I decided just to take a piece of this ribbon and cinch it in the center. So I wrapped it around the jar first just to get an idea of what length I would need. And then you can see here, I'm kind of accordion folding it in the center. And I'm going to use some of this jute twine. I'm adding a little hot glue on the back and then I'm going to wrap it around several times in the center so that it has a pretty wide gap. And that way that'll help show off that logo just a little more. Now I just need to add some hot glue to the back side of the ribbon and glue it to the front of the jar and then I wrapped the tails around to the back and secured those in place with a little more hot glue. The last step I just needed to add my bunches of flowers and I used two different ones and the one bunch that I had had a couple different types of flowers and leaves on it so it made arranging these really easy because like I always say arranging flowers is not my strong point and check the time look at that just over 42 two minutes. I made five projects in 42 minutes.
final breakdown of how much every project cost. So for the succulent planter, I had four of those shelf sitters, a roll of birch ribbon, floral foam, four bunches of flowers, wood beads, and burlap ribbon for a total of $15. For the three picture frames, I had three frames, three cork sheets, and one of the sticker sheets for a total of $8.75. For the toothbrush holder and the soap dispenser, I had those two items plus a pack of the poster stickers for a grand total of $3.75. And for the tray on the back of the toilet, I needed one tray, one cork sheet, two glass containers, and a pack of the rub-on transfers for a total of $6.25. And then for the floral arrangement, I had one jar, one pack of ribbon, and two bunches of flowers for a total of $5. And some of the extra materials that I used over, over multiple projects were a roll of jute twine, a small bottle of Waverly chalk paint right now is $1.67 in my local Walmart, and a pack of glue sticks from the Dollar Tree would be $1.25. So if you add those extra materials in to all the projects I did today, my grand total was $43.42. And that's if you had to go to the store right now and buy every single thing. But I'm sure you already have a lot of these materials in your stash which would bring your costs down even more so 45 minutes $45 and I feel like I have a whole new bathroom let me know in the comments what you thought of this video this is really different for me but I had a lot of fun doing it and let me know if you want to see more videos like this in the future thanks so much for hanging out in the craft room with me today I left some other videos on the screen that I think you might like and I'll talk to you in the next one